Never before has the cost of hotel rooms at the top end been greater compared with the mid-budget range. So we've sent in teams of undercover inspectors to test hotels across all price ranges for the school holidays. Josh Frizulin reports the biggest surprise is where we found the biggest failures. This is a five-star hotel, isn't it? Yeah. This is actually all dead skin. And so you're sleeping with somebody else's dead skin. You have to get them done pretty quickly, the rooms. Yes. All of this stuff is dirt, allergens, stuff from this room that can really make you seriously sick. <coughs> <coughs> everything's clean, everything's of fine. Of course, everything's Thank perfect. You. And you'll refurbish the room, so I'm sure you will love it. Dirty, dusty, dank, disgusting, despicable. They're the five D's that go with the five stars of some of Australia's top hotels. Is that long enough? It's short at the moment. <laughs> Tonight, we're undercover with a team of cleaning specialists. Inside hotel rooms, you'd pay hundreds of dollars to stay in. Smuggling in a domestic vacuum and an ultraviolet light, our cleaners expose filth on carpets and beds that can't be detected by the naked eye. And that's what you're breathing in. Ideal breeding conditions for dust mites and bed bugs. Results that have left hotel management shocked. Three out of four five-star hotels fail our cleaning tests. We upgraded to the King Executive Plus room. We're checking in at the Hilton Hotel, the most recognised name in the global lodging industry. Behind closed doors, the cleaning begins. We're here today to test what is in a carpet and what's in this bed in this particular room. So this is a fluff that actually has dirt in it. Simply, someone has not had enough time to clean this room properly. And it is this that can get into your lungs. Material from the bed's mattress looks worse. The white gunk is in fact dead skin. Many houses have this, but I can assure you in a top-class hotel, this shouldn't be here. Paul Birchall is the managing director of Electra Dry. 40 years in the cleaning business, he knows what's acceptable and what's not. One night in the Executive Plus, $335. At the Stamford Plaza, more covert testing, more shocking results. Now that is literally pollution. You've got to get it done quickly, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> How long are you here? Half an hour. This is the view they want you to see, not this. A deluxe room at the Stamford, $325. Certainly, if you get a high exposure to dust mite, it can trigger rhinitis or asthma. Dr Janet Rimmer is the director of the National Asthma Council of Australia. The 12-month mortality rate for asthma was uh, 449 deaths, and that was higher than the preceding year. This is a five-star. At the Marriott Hotel, our cleaners' noses and throats are given a break. Paul rates the $329 room reasonably well. From the carpet and bed, only a small amount of dirt and skin. To me, it shows that there's been a certain amount of work done to ensure the health of the guests. The Sofitel, however, was the worst offender, even after being upgraded to a club room. After just five minutes of vacuuming, the bag is caked in gunk, on the carpet, in the bed. Dust mites live on this stuff, and if this is in the bed, then there are millions of dust mites. On the cupboard doors, look what the UV light picks up. One night in this room, $475. If I knew this was in here, I wouldn't sleep here. You'd assume a cheaper hotel with less stars wouldn't be as clean. Not at the three-star Explorers Inn. It even put some of the five-star hotels to shame, where you can pay up to five times as much. And this may be the telling factor. The Hilton, Sofitel and Stamford, which had the most dirt, are self-rated five-star hotels. They inspect themselves. Whereas the Marriott and the Explorers Inn are officially star-rated. Just goes to prove sometimes the amount of money you pay isn't always the healthiest result you get. A room for the night here, $89. They've actually 
turned it over, back in, but, and done a good job. Hotel manager of Explorers Inn, Gary Talbot. We don't have the minibar, we don't have the views, some of their facilities. I'm really surprised what I saw, wasn't good. But when you come here, you know it's properly clean. This is awful, I gotta wash my hands. That's Josh Fazulam reporting and further details on that story are on our website. You know, the